After Valve and HTC originally released the HTC Vive in 2016, it left people asking where first party games and content were. People just weren't content with the lab and indie games alone. Well, we have it. Releasing in March of 2020, Half-Life Alex is set between the events of Half-Life and Half-Life 2 built from the ground up for virtual reality. In Half-Life Alex, you play as Alex Vance in quote, a story of an impossible fight against a vicious alien race known as the Combine. Playing as Alex Vance, you are humanity's last chance for survival. The game is near photorealistic and rumored to be 12 to 16 hours long. Half-Life Alex is Valve's return to the Half-Life universe after over 12 years. Now I know many people are going to complain about it being VR only. In fact, I've already started seeing it online. But I must remind you, Valve's always used the Half-Life series to show what new technology can do. Think back to the announcement of Half-Life 2. There are people complaining about having to buy dedicated graphics coprocessors for their systems just to play the game. VR isn't as expensive as you think anyway. You can buy a VR headset for under $250 USD, which I will have a video coming up soon on. Half-Life Alex supports a variety of setups, from room scale VR to sitting and standing, as well as a variety of movement options and different controller support play any way you can imagine with VR. But if you do purchase a Valve Index headset, or even just the controllers themselves, which the HTC Vive does support, you will receive the game for free, plus bonus content as well if you purchase the Index hardware by the end of 2019, including Half-Life Alex environments for your Steam VR home space, alternate gun skins for your weapons, as well as special Half-Life themed content for Counter-Strike Global Offensive and Dota 2. But the thing I'm most excited for is the release of the Source 2 SDK alongside Half-Life Alex. This is the first time Source 2 will be in the hands of the community. With the Source 2 SDK, users will be able to publish their own custom content to the Steam Workshop for Half-Life Alex. Hopefully this means we'll get a Source 2 filmmaker as well, maybe even more advanced tools for CSGO eventually. For now, this is all the information I have. Check in the description for the game trailer, as well as Jeff Kiley's interview with a few Valve devs, and check the Game Awards on December 12th for more information. I hope to see you all in March when the game finally releases, as I will hopefully be streaming the game on Twitch if I can get my hands on an HTC Vive and Index controllers.